Hey Del, so this is the look that we are going for today. I know my camera is kind of, well actually my lighting is actually um, kind of washing out the colors a bit since they do have shimmer. Um, I was requested to do a look. Um, I'll put the person's link down below. She requested a soft orangey coral color look. It looks like she's going to a wedding. So hopefully I'm not too late. I know you requested this about like three weeks ago. So um, this is what I came up with. And I'll give you like a daytime and then you can turn it into nighttime by adding the brown into the crease. So let's go ahead and get started. I first um, applied Urban Decay's Primer Potion all over the lid and underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use Coral Crepe from MAC. It's a paint pot. You can use whatever coral or orangey base that you have. I just have this and I haven't used it yet. Whoops. And I haven't used it yet, so I thought this would be the perfect time to um, use it. So I'm just going to apply this to the entire lid. Um, we're actually going to be using the e.l.f. palette. Um, I don't know if this is how many eyeshadows. I'll put a link to this uh, palette on from the e.l.f. website and then I think Target also has these to purchase in the store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, into this light coral color right here. And I'm using a flat shader brush. I'm going to apply this color um, just to the inner half of the lid. I'm going to take this color all the way to right underneath the brow area. I'm going to make sure I get that inner corner. Now using the other side of the brush, we're going into this darker coral color, which is in the same row, but it's two, three shades down. I'm going to apply this to the outer half, which is just a couple shades darker, and it's more of a matte satin finish. Now I'm just going to take a random uh, fluffy crease brush and this is the deluxe crease from Coastal Scents and I'm just going to blend this color out a little bit. Now um, to help blend out the color a little bit I'm going into this pinky coral color which is right above hold on hopefully which is right above that um, darker coral color that we just used. Get a little bit of that on the brush. And we're just going to blend this color out. Now for the highlight color, I'm just taking another fluffy blending brush. And I'm going into this yellowy cream color right here. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. And I'm just going to apply it to the highest point of my arch and blend out the color. Now for the inner corner here, I'm just going to take a um, e.l.f. contour shader brush or blending brush. And I'm going into the same row where we took our highlight from and it's the second shadow down. And it's just a um, frosty white color that has a pink duochrome to it. And I'm just going to apply this to the inner corner because it's just going to bring light to the inner corner. And emphasize that coral color. Now for the under, um, the lower lash line color, I'm going into this frosty it's like a champagne gold color and I'm just going to take a pencil brush and apply this to my lower lash line 
Off camera, I'm going to apply my gel eyeliner from Physicians Formula. Apply mascara, and I'm using the Maybelline Full and Soft. And I'm using these really uh, wispy eyelashes that I got from the makeup show. And okay, I'll be so back. this is what the look looks like right now. Um, you can wear this um, during the day um, as like a natural coral color um, look. You can use, you know, any one during the day or night or whatever you prefer, but this is just, you know, two different looks that you can use. Um, what I did was I just applied I just applied this dark brown to the crease area with a um, e.l.f. blending brush and I'll just do that now for you. I just started, um, it's right above the crease area, it's not really the actual crease and I just traced the brow bone. And then I just went back with the fluffy blending brush and I took that pink that we applied above that coral color just to blend it out a little bit. That's the look. Um, let me go ahead and zoom you out so I can show you what's on okay, the rest no, of the Sorry, face. my hair is kind of crazy. I'm letting it air dry. Um, so for the cheek area, I know the they tell you try not to be matchy matchy or whatever but I'm using Luminoso from Mil Milani and it's a coral blush hopefully you'll be able to see that um, and it just you know gives you like a golden coral color to the cheeks on the lips I'm using L'Oreal's Peach Fuzz and it's like a corally color and it just gave me a light tint of coral, so it's not too noticeable. Um, and then I just used Max Lip Glass and Early Bloomer. And it's just a baby pink color with golden shimmer. You can use whatever lip gloss you have. So that is the finished look, and I hope you like it. And stay tuned for the pictures. Bye.